Hi, I'm Ben, and we're going to tear apart this gas furnace. We are in front of the Internet House of Horrors, and we've got our tools. And let's see how difficult it is to get to the heat exchanger of an old gas-fired furnace. And this is a mid-efficiency. You see the draft fan on top. And there's just a ton of screws. So let's speed up the video here and pull apart here and let's see what's inside. So this is the top of the furnace. This is where the gas, there's the heat exchanger. This is where the flue gases and the con vent connection pipe uh, is attached to that round rim there. And the draft fan, the dra draft inducer fan is below. So let's see if we can get into that. And there is where the exhaust gases come out of the fan. You can see a lot of the corrosion and build up. Bend that back. So the fan is in there. I can touch the fan. The fan is there. That's where the fan is and it spins. And there's the heat exchanger. And we'll dive into there. Check out one of the high temperature limit switches. And there's the heat exchanger. Let's grab a flashlight here. So there's the heat exchanger shape. Pretty cool. Not much to see. If there was a crack, it would probably be difficult to even see it using a camera just like that. And the exhaust fan is there. And there is a, a cutoff switch, a temperature limit switch. It's hard to see, but it's inside there in the middle of the exchanger components. And there it is there. And it just senses temperature. If there's a problem, it shuts it off, right? So that's diving through a heat exchanger. It's kind of cool. All right, let's take some more components off. And there is that limit switch. And that's what it looks like. As a home inspector, we never get to tear our things apart and take a look at what it looks like. And it's right in there. And that's where the gas burners are, really. That's the area. All right, let's take more screws off. I want to pull it apart, but it looks like things are more together than I thought. So let's take some more components off. And get my gloves on, because we're going to tear apart some metal. So there's the exhaust gases. It goes past the hood to control the direction of it. And let's take this off. Oh, there's a, another safety switch, just in case the exhaust gas temperature there is really high. If it's too high, it'll shut it off. Something's wrong, right? And that is, see the exhaust gases go in that hole and then it'll right there on the side of the of the exhaust box, let's call it. And there's a switch there. Okay, let's pull this off. And it's connected to the top of the draft inducer fan. And that's another switch there. Senses pressure. We want a, a draft. And there's the fan with the fan motor. Sometimes that will hum out and whistle a little bit, make some noise. Okay, let's pull this apart. And there's where the heat exchanger is. That's the top of the heat exchanger. And I'm kind of surprised to see a plate, like a restriction plate. Never thought I would see that, really. So it looks like the manufacturer installed some kind of plate to restrict the flow. Sometimes you'll see a restrictor plate on the top of the, where the vent connector pipe 
um, is located at the top of the furnace. But this one is right there in front of the three, let's say, chambers of the heat exchanger unit. Let's pull this off and see what's going on inside. So you can imagine the exhaust gases come from the burners below, being pulled up through by the fan and through the heat exchangers, those three chambers there, and it's restricted by that plate. You would never know that plate there. And it looks really rusted and worn out. I'm looking for any kind of cracks or damage. Now let's pull this up and get to the burners. There's the manifold, the gas valve. Let's snip these wires away. So the gas comes in, and then there's the, the holes, the orifices that go into the burners, and they ignite, and the, they match up with the burner ports. Pull the burner ports off, let's snip some wires, and there they are there. You see the blue flame, and then if we flip it around, oh! Middle one has a crack. That's a major defect. Should never have a crack like that. So it was an old furnace, had a crack. Maybe that was part of the defect there. Somebody observed some problems with the, the flame and the heat because you could see the heat was um, going in an odd direction. So let's move that aside. Now, you get to see the heat exchanger, right? where it goes in from the burners, up through the heat exchanger itself, and out the top. And that square hole in the middle is uh, where the sensor, the cutoff sw switch is, the high limit switch. And there's, it's really difficult to get to the heat exchanger, but once the sides are d detached, you can just pull it right off. And you can see the rust and corrosion coming off. And then let's take a look. That is the heat exchanger. You can see the bottom where the first bend is. That's usually where we find the most damage, the first crack, the rust, the overheating, the warping is around that first loop of this serpentine of the heat exchanger. Let's put it on the floor here. So you can see the three chambers. The top is, has that extra protection. And that's kind of nice for uh, if there's an evaporator coil from an air conditioner on top. But it's usually for heat and uh, huh? keeping the heat inside. All right, so that's the heat exchanger on the floor. Let's take a look at the, the jacket on the inside. There's the blower fan down below, and the air moves up. And if you tear off the insulation, I see there's some glue or something that was attached to it. Rust, maybe. I don't know. But that's about it. So it's impossible for a home inspector to comment on the heat exchanger. Um, you really can't see anything. It's just a visual only inspection and this is not what a home inspector does, tear things apart like this. So I hope you had fun tearing apart a gas furnace.